Where would you like to be just now? In a shopping mall? Or in a nail spa? Or in a gym? Theatre? Do you have the time to read a book? Because you can just go down to the supermarket and buy the packaged goods. Or do you have the time to go down to the gym and start pumping and lifting all those weights whilst the elders, your granddads and grandfathers and grandmothers without gender discrimination was working side by side planting the little rice by hand, by fingers onto the ground. We have improved life and moved on from finger planting to machine planting in thousands of hectares in a day. Thanks to the technology and the advances of mechanical machinery, we move from the plantation and getting dirty to getting filthy by searching the internet for vulgar and unpleasant scenes. And we have so much time in our hands. Now we don't want to even pick up our own litter that we, after consuming the packaged goods of food and chemicals, we don't even have the energy and the consciousness to even pick those rubbish off the floor and take it with you and dispose it consciously. Do you have much time thanks to the machinery? Or is your life ticking in a way because you're consuming so much of chemicals these days? Is it time that we must go back and learn how to preserve our life and our life energies and consciously remind ourselves to be alert from our own making? Would you say that it is time that we wake up to this reality that we can't turn this earth any longer? because we profiteered out of this land that we call the Mother Earth. It doesn't want to talk to us back anymore because it has no energy left after our exploitation. We taken, our great-grandparents have taken so much out of this earth that was not needed. Last year alone, we produced 17 billion mouths to feed the number of food, crop, and harvest. Yet, the world's population was 7 billion, and about half of that livelihoods were going hungry, simply because the people we selected and elected and to be responsible of human well-being have decided to make a mockery out of you and me and confuse you into oblivion that all things are going to be right. As you move on from this illusion of life to the magic of life, it is time that we come down back to the earth and realize what it's doing for us. It is time that we have to now, without leaving these fields, to neglect, to revive them with your intellect and intelligence. Leave aside your intellect and leave aside your mind and live with your body by understanding the field and the earth. Know the enduring 
nature that is constantly repairing what we are doing to it. Speak to the elders to know what life is really mean. What have I said? What have I seen? Cannot be explained. All I can say and all I can see is that we are constantly looking down instead of looking up for answers any longer. Our act of looking down is not looking down to see answers for our solutions. It is our manipulation by looking down. We are simply neglecting our own health. Our health means we will go back to becoming a primitive creatures on this planet the way we are conducting our lives today every life form born on this earth stomach full life settle humanity and humans stomach full hundred more problems how can we arrive at that when we have this intellect remind yourself that you are made within not from the outside what you consume is what came from this earth what you exhaust out of this earth you'll be exhausting your energies in the same way it's only when you walk this earth and realize how hard and heavy we walk this earth and how hard and heavy we impact our souls as in heels of our feet on this ground. Every other creature that comes here treading a careful and a conscious path in their life they do also are born they do also live feed and shit and produce and die and return back to this earth it's only our intellect has separated us and given us the opportunity to blossom yet we have made our societies in a such a way we're fulfilling the needs of the very few the very few are looking down us as we are the fools for their needs it is time for us to wake and be awakened by our own ingenuity and progress and propel into embracing life of every living creature on the planet. What you wish for in your life must you not also wish for the well-being of the others? This heart is the only one that is working tirelessly day and night unconsciously for you. Konnichiwa. <laughs> and that very heart must be looked after by you. And if that conscious is in mind, it is also not perfectly important to give the same importance to the other's heart because every single time that we hurt or distort or cause an imbalance in somebody else's heart 
it isn't the right way of life. What is right for you must also be right for the others. Because if you're dressed up in a way that you feel comfortable, the others and that life wishes the same. Every life form that exists on this earth is here to fulfill its highest possibility in its entirety before it leaves this short span of life that is here to experience. All experiences will happen only if we embrace every life just the way it is. Thank you for journeying through with me. And we don't want any more museums across our world by making our traditions disappear.